old tunnel and the reason the tunnel is that the worm will fall into the tunnel and then about every three hours Mm, it's giving Russia her walk. Um, so I've got people now sort of coming and going, bringing vans on and things. So it's going to be an early another day where I can do this. Well, uh, people are about, obviously, dogs are to be kept on leads. So it's been dry. We didn't, we didn't have any rain overnight. A little bit chilly, but, but dry. So to recap, where I'm up to is... Did all here yesterday um, and these outer pitches and what I'm going to do to this, well, I'll probably do it this afternoon, I'm going to go over again with the mower maybe on a, a bit of a lower setting on the deck, um, get some of these grass cuttings up and I'm going to have a look at that oil gauge for the oil tank we've got for, uh, for the heating oil, the battery came for that yesterday afternoon, fingers, fingers crossed that's going to work. Um, I've got the shower heads in the toilets to put all back on, clean up and put all put back on. Uh, and what the hell? If I get if I get a chance, I need to go to Skagness. I need to get a passport photograph retaken. I, I, I've been rejected from the passport office with a reflection on my glasses. Anyway, I need to try and get that done and uh, out of the way. But just another day, rolling into March. Um, and they say in the next couple of days. On the forecast, we've got potential snow showers on the forecast. What's the forecast where you are? I still need to sort this out. I've got uh, very few tools, which is causing a bit of a headache, this. Um, anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, Seagull's still going. There's the campsite there. And uh, let's go and open up the office. Right, down to the wonderful world of YouTube. I think... I've got this thing working. Um, so this is a, a, an oil tank um, level detector. So let me get the other bit of this. And I'll try and show you how we've got it working. We've got this thing here, which is like a receiver. Um, there's like dip switches and everything, which I'm making an assumption at the moment that they were done because this was out of the tank. So I've changed a 2430 battery where I've got a Duracell battery in here. And I just gave this a bit of a test run because basically you've got um, there's a little rec receiver, a little dot here, and that communicates over there. And then once that's done, it's sort of paired up. Um, and it looks like if the electric goes off and gets unplugged, you have to repair these. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get my screwdriver back, and I'm just going to put the cap back onto um, uh, back onto this. Okay. So basically, um, this was already this was already on the tank, and then that. Um, receiver was found so what we have to do now i'm just going to find it here now we need to pair this up with the receiver basically by touching them together and shortly they should um marry up all being well no results as well right it's outside the council have been and emptied the rubbish bin right so we're back on their radar Happy days, let's go on to, uh, let's move that near the gate. Into the distance, the bingo. Yay. So allegedly, that's now shown we've got a full tank of oil. Obviously what we'll need to do with that is monitor it. Um, and see how accurate it is. But on the face of it, that's letting us know exactly how much oil we've got. And that's gotta be a lot better than um, touching the tank and trying to put a dipstick in and things. Let's keep our fingers crossed that that's, uh, that's working. All right, and so uh, another bit, little bit of progress. So the other day I put an advert, um, an advert uh, a vlog up about the cafe and somebody helping out and everything. Uh, so a chap's come to come over to see me and he's going to come tomorrow um, for a few weeks and we'll sort of have him on a bit of a trial, see how it all goes. And I've got some other ideas going through my head. Um, 
yeah, so all being well, I'm gonna get gonna get a pair of hands to uh, give give me a lift with uh, uh, some of these jobs over the next couple of weeks, and we'll see how things progress. Definitely good progress here now. Right, I need to go and get these shower heads um, rinsed off and uh, and cleaned. Time to put my rubber gloves on. Right, so that's the ladies. Um, Shower heads all on and showers all working. I've got a problem in the gents. Uh, da, 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 da. I always have a problem, don't I? Me and plumbing, I hold my hands up. We don't mix. We really don't mix. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I've got one of the showers um, has got a leak in the back of it. So I'm assuming it's just pipe work that's gone with frost damage. Fingers crossed. And then I've got another shower. So I've got the two showers. And I believe the heating element has gone on that. Um, so as you've seen, we've historically used this uh, guy called Grant, who I've given him sort of some of the bigger jobs to do. But because this is quite important now, uh, and, and I know Grant's on a big job, I'm going to go and try and track down a local plumber. Fingers crossed. Wish right, me luck. So we're just moving, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Day, you know who you are. I've just moved the uh, caravan that's been here over winter onto their seasonal pitch. Uh, Mr. Day's car ended up getting stuck. Um, it may not look like it, but I'm sleeping a uh, couple of bits of this Astro Turf at the moment. Oh, wait. Uh, that one, and I said, I'll just do a couple of pitches a day. Uh, and basically, just need to sweep off the stones and the rabbit droppings that have accumulated over winter. Uh, this area we've had uh, mould, so we will give this another low cut and get some grass seed on here. Quite a big hive of activity going on. We've got um, people putting the fence up here. Um, other seasonals are being the units on. We've got new people over here, put the caravans on. Uh, another seasonal here has just popped over. We've got another seasonal up here coming on. Uh, as we have mentioned, we have still got some seasonal pitches. Uh, a lot going on at the moment, a couple of weeks to go. Right, we've just had a cup of coffee and I'm going to go and uh, get on the mower again. Right, so I'm joined by somebody, a legend. <laughs> who, who remembers this guy here? Killer Dave. I'm back. He's back. I'm back. The wasp, the wasp won last year, didn't they? No, the wasp, I haven't seen the wasp since I've been here. Uh, <laughs> well, what we've done now, we, we, so this, over the next couple of months, we are bringing down the tops of these trees and all the rest of it. And um, yeah, we will be looking out for the, uh, the wasp situation. So those that have been following these vlogs will know we've got one part of the site that's got a, a, a bit of a, what would you call it, an infestation? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Dave's come to have a look at some of these and see whether we can cure the situation. Uh, but what I am going to do when we get up here in a moment, I'm going to get some information off Dave about moles because I know very little about them apart from their right, winning. Dave. So I was just saying to Dave, we've got a mole hill over there, a mole hill over there. Odd mole, mole hills are fine, but this has been... <sighs> This has been mad. Tell, tell, tell us what you know about moles. What do I do? Right. I think the reason they're in this area is because it's a damp corner. The soil type is really good, so there'll be a lot of worms in here. So that's the reason. The, mold, the moles tunnel, and the reason the tunnel is that the worm will fall into the tunnel, and then about every three hours, the mole will run down his tunnels and eat the whatever worms have fell in there. I never knew that. And that's the way they feed. Every, about every three hours they'll, they'll run through the tunnels. And every time an area will dry up slightly, they'll dig in, like that one over there, there's a new, new mole wheel. So he's gone a bit further now for a fresh bit of area. So there'll be a lot more worms in that area. They're quite, quite, quite clever animals. But, oh yeah, yeah. But to actually eliminate the problem without going into gory details, so there's lots of environmentally nice ways to do this, but they doesn't seem to work. And there's some, no, there's some inhumane nasty. ways to do it. Um, but we're going to do it as a, as as humane as possible. Yeah. Um, he calls me Killer Dave, but I am quite softy with animals. Really, oh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll definitely not try and. Uh, 
cause yeah. any stress uh, or anything to the animal whatsoever. No. no. But all being well, we've um, but brought in an expert and we're going to um, just try and get this area done. And then our fantastic new neighbours, our fantastic new seasonal people. Um, sorry, give us a wave, give a wave. Um, they will have some beautiful grass and uh, yeah, once we've sorted out the mould problem, we'll get this rake down and get a bit of seed over it. And They're just unlucky that they're across from Dan and Mazzy, really, aren't they? Well, yeah, <laughs> I think we could have had, yeah, yeah Dan, Dan the mould detective, isn't he? Yeah. He's got none in his garden. Yeah. Funny enough, I was walking on his lawn. And when you walk on there, you can feel what feels like there's been tunnels under there at some stage. Yeah. You can feel the ground yeah. sinking. Yeah, and so all I can think is, he's put them all off. Yeah. yeah. And they've all come over here because that's not, not the place to have a party. No. And the, what, the, there's a couple of reasons, really, why we need to get rid of them anyway. Such as when you're going across with your mower, that mower could pick a stone up or something yeah, and yeah. throw it at a vehicle or a caravan. Cause yeah. a lot of damage. There's... Uh, people with crutches or walking sticks, if they're walking on here and the stick goes in. Now that's true, isn't it? Um, they could go over, uh, you know, there's different, and, and actually we, we, there was on the news the other day, the rescue dogs, uh, we uh. do, we cover the training ground for the police and, and rescue dogs, and uh, we're always on to do them because the dog's poor. If they're running, like... Uh, uh, snap a leg Like Rasha was bouncing yeah, around yeah. here, and it, it goes in the tunnel that can soon snap a leg. Yeah, so. I've not even thought about that. But what, what, what we are going to do, the other random moles, which, just sorry, to, another question, I don't think you can answer this. So as I say, we have got moles throughout the site, but, but they're just, they're not causing really any damage. No, no. They, it, they, they always say about three moles to the acre. Right. So. But, but here, there must be more than one. No, maybe not. Maybe one, maybe two. That's that'll be it. It's just weird. So, just so hard working little creatures. Yeah. Right. So we're going to do the necessary and um all being well we'll know the result in a it's about a week or so, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see uh we'll 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 see what comes about. What do you know about moles? No, no, <laughs> killer Dave. He's he's a legend. Give us a give us a wave. He, 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 everybody's learning all about moles. Worms. Yeah, yeah. Right, brilliant. We'll let, let you crack wait, on. Wait, how's this working here now? You're finding the burrows? Yeah. So what you, I'm doing is pressing down in the ground. Right. Like that. Yeah. And then it just gives when you find the find the burrow. Oh, there. You see it fall, You see it fall in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know now that that, that is running that way. That run, burrow is running that way. Now I'll dig it and find it. There's a lot more to moles than we knew. Right, well I'm going to leave Dave to that. I just need to whip back into me um, into the office. I've got some stuff I'm doing, and I need to. There's a quick half hour on the mower as well. Um, over on touring. Let's come inside for a bit. Right, that's uh, a bit more mowing done. So the orange mower. I need to change one of these belts, and it's doing my shedding on how it goes on. So when I put it on, it feels like the belt's, I don't know, it's about a foot too long. And there's a snap snap one. Here's a replacement. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's definitely the, 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 the exactly the same size. And then just trying to work out how this goes on this mower deck and everything is, uh, I don't know. It's been designed by somebody with an origami qualification. Right, this is defying all logic this because i've got this belt on i've just got another spare one here and i know when we did this last time we had to take off these split pins and lower this deck and then we had a problem with this spring but what we learned we could do is we could move this by hand but this is not fitting and i know it's going to be something simple uh this might be one of them Leave it for today and sleep on it and see if I can get a eureka. I'm going to have a rethink on this. There's something simple uh, that I'm doing wrong and sometimes just walk away from it and it will sort of come. And so we did change one of these belts last year um, and a spring got removed and it, it was, shouldn't have been removed. But that's just doing my shed in a bit. Right, I'm going to wrap this off here. I've not had any dinner. Um, I've just realised my belly is absolutely run, uh, rumbling. Uh, and I should 
if he turns up, have a plumber here. Uh, he said he'd be here this afternoon, so he hasn't turned up yet. Otherwise, I'm going to need to find another plumber tomorrow. Fun and games at the nurseries. Right, guys, it's all happening here. Busy, busy times. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you, 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 and you, you on the next one. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.